On a daily basis, more than 5 million liters of milk are processed here at the main production facilities of Sachsenmilch. Let's find out how this member of the European Hygienic Engineering and Design Group optimizes food safety. Hello together, my name is Lars Gorski. Behind me is a Sachsenmilch. Sachsenmilch is a 100% daughter of the Müller Group. We are the single biggest uh, plant in Europe and we produce on site huge tea milk, a lot of yogurt cups, cheese and also ingredients. For example, skin milk powder, WPI and WPC80 and for sure also lactose. And lactose we use for dry mix plant, that means in the end baby food. And that's why we want to have a deeper look inside. On the left hand side, there our raw milk uh, go inside the factory. That means each day 5 million, it's roughly 200 trucks every day must go inside with raw milk. The raw milk is around 200 kilometers from Lepersdorf. Now we go directly in the heart of the facility. You need the right key card. Now I can open the door, get a hairnet for me, a white one, and because you are an external and we want to know uh, that you are external, you get a red one. You wash your shoes, wash your hands, dry your hands, go to the disinfection station, and then you are ready. And that's necessary for each people who wants to go inside the building. Look on the ground floor. We built it for 10 years. Uh, this was the standard for 10 years. Look how to handle with the cable cabinets and with the electric cabinets. Here we are. Here you can see one view, that's our zoning level, we are on the green side, it's our basic level in the Way 5 building. You see also one detail from EH on the ground floor, no wide angle because we want to clean it easily. Follow me in the operations room. You can see a lot of screens, the operator do a good job every day and they know exactly what happened here. Primix lactose is a critical product on this facility because our customers are babies. And we start up with production three years ago and there we must think about a lot of details. At first we built up a vision and mission that means zero tolerance. But what means zero tolerance? Think about all details, validation stuff and maintenance guys and how to handle waste inside and outside, how to clean your equipment and that was the work we must do. We described it and for example helps us the EH uh, community to fix some details and we are really happy and proud. We are a membership of EH and that's why we had also uh, this sign on this door because if you want to go from the green to the red area you must change your clothes again but you must be aware that you do everything right on this direction. We use EH for the training our operators we use the guidelines to improve all details. We uh, spoke in the networking about different details, how we can improve it together. And at Ford, we go also to our customers and want to know that uh, they installed the uh, guidelines of EH. That's why we have a bench on this side, put out our clothes, change the clothes, and go on the red area.
now we are on the right side. That means it's our drying area. You see it on the ground floor, or you see it on the socks, or on my drawers, or on my back. And we have only one entrance, that's this one. If you want to bring out samples, you have also a smooth overpressure. You have overpressure air in the red area to the green area. The quality of the air is H13 filtered air. That means it's like the same like in the hospital. Overpressure is also measured, 150 Pascal. And in the end, I have it, for example, of my iPad. And I can see it in reality time and get an email if the overpressure is not okay. I have five centimeters to the wall. 45 degrees, the question behind is how to clean it. Also, the lamps, we think about it before we install them. Because also on the roof of the lamps, it's possible that some uh, powder going down and we don't, we don't want that. And now we go in the heart of the factory and that is a fluid betrayer. And you can see, that's our fluid betrayer. Fluid betrayer number two. With hot air goes the last water outside. And in the end, the lactose cool down and go in the silos to the milling process. powder and for sure you must be able to clean the equipment you must be clean environmentally that's why we have a central vacuum station and once in a week you clean the dryer inside and if you clean the dryer inside then you can open the drains and here you see the drain is also cleaned and we also checked the micro status of the drains every week that we are sure also inside is no life possible. Here you can see also some elements of EH. Think before you start up, use the correct bonds or if you build up, use hygiene feeds. And that's also what we learned. On EH. And in the end, every operator has a question for itself, would I give it my own baby? It was a really nice day with you. Thank you very much. I would like to say goodbye and see you again.